It just takes my mind totally away from the problems that I have. Singing in itself is, is just fantastic. It's rare to find Louise Hamilton on her feet in the afternoon. So the ladies are making sure she doesn't overdo it. They've got together to celebrate Louise's return from a barbershop music convention in Hawaii. I'm heading for Tuxedo Junction now. She's learned to sing sitting down after a fall that left her with multiple injuries and ongoing severe pain. I find it very difficult breathing. Sitting and, and singing breathing is very difficult for me. And I had to teach myself differently to breathe, not the way I was trained to cope with singing like this. Um, but you do these things and when you love it, it's, it's you know, it's great. I love it. Louise is a key member of the Sounds of Hawke's Bay Barbershop Chorus. Quite a departure for this classically trained former opera singer and pianist. It took a lot of convincing from her sister and cousin before Louise would even try the unique style of harmony. They said, well, why, why don't you just come along and have a listen? And I said, no, nobody wants you in a wheelchair on stage singing. So she said, oh, come on, just let's go for... Just go and have a listen. So away I went, and I really enjoyed it. Louise embraced Barbershop and became part of the worldwide women's a cappella organisation, The Sweet Adelines. Within a year, she was arranging the complex harmonies, as well as singing. It's like there's a guide, an arranger's guide that I have to follow, and it's a guide and a half. It's a huge thing, and it has rules and regulations abound. Louise is the only approved arranger of four-part harmonies in Australasia. And with 10,000 members in this part of the world alone, it's pretty busy. It's passion now. It's a love of my life now. And it is a form of pain relief. Total pain relief. I don't know what... Well, I don't, don't think I could do without it. That didn't take long. No. No, I've got plenty more out there. Oh, good. Cooking is her other passion. 26 years ago, Louise was running a successful catering business and raising five children with husband Graham. Then she fell down some stairs. I just slipped down three concrete steps. Unfortunately, I was wearing jandals at the time and it was raining, so I think that, that kind of got the whole thing rolling and I fell flat on my back. In this freak accident, she smashed her tailbone and severely damaged discs in her back. Her neck and right knee were also affected. A series of operations only made her injuries worse. The first surgeon started operating in that time, took the tailbone off in three different sections. And each time that happened, nothing improved and the pain was getting worse. So then I decided I needed another opinion. So. And unfortunately, when I got the other opinion, he was going, all he told us was that all he could do was try and repair the damage, but he wouldn't be able to fix it. So it was too late. Mm. At 43, this fiercely independent mother and businesswoman became dependent and depressed. I just virtually vegetated for three years. And, you know, that was getting me nowhere and also it was affecting the family, especially Graham. Um, so, you know, I had some help, psychological help, and that got me back on track and, and it's been all going up from there. Had to work at it. Some days I could give it all away. But, you know, with this fantastic hobby I've got now, yeah, it, that's what keeps you going. And the support of Graham behind me all around. Louise discovered ways to cope. She can't bend without pain, and another recent fall has meant her left knee is now locked. That accident caused yet more damage to her shoulder. Modifications to their home made daily living easier. 
Improved access to their van means Graham and chorus members can help Louise get around. Louise was a finalist at last year's Attitude Awards, where we honoured her tremendous spirit and contribution to the arts. The International Association of Sweet Adelines also paid tribute to her recently. I was awarded the Spirit of Sweet Adelines Award this year, which was a huge honour. It took me by big surprise, huge surprise. In fact, I couldn't hold back the tears. So it was, it's something that I'll cherish for the rest of my life, that one. Mm. Just amazing. <laughs> Louise will live with severe pain for the rest of her life. But with barbershop music as her motivation, she's OK with that. It's never ending. It's going to be all onwards and upwards. I've got a lot to do still. I've got a lot I want to achieve. And um, with the help and caring that I've got, I can see it happening. The world's my oyster, as I said before. <laughs>